What is going on guys, The Davey TV, and today I have a pretty crazy video. So I have this USB right here, and basically what it is, it has like a bunch of capacitors which make it like go in a circle and like blow up whatever you put this USB into. So everything Apple Pro actually used this before in his videos and plugged it into a MacBook, a PS4, an Xbox One, and random stuff like that that just like burned the whole system. Did not survive. Yeah, it just died. Today we're gonna be doing something crazy with my car actually. I have my car right here. And we're gonna basically put this USB inside the USB port in the car and see if it survives. And if it doesn't, he's gonna have to owe me money to fix it. We already made a deal. Yeah, I literally signed it with my blood. <laughs> we cut his hand and we got blood from him and he signed it. So just in case anything happens, we are obviously gonna fix this issue or if anything happens to the car. So I'm predicting that something will happen, like something will burn. I so think yeah. the, the Navi, maybe the sound stuff is gonna burn, but yeah. Hopefully not any of the engine stuff. I mean, they, they must be smart enough to not interconnect all those wires. Man. Yeah. If it, I'm like, kind of nervous though. Yeah, if the car doesn't start, then we're gonna have to push it to the dealership to get it fixed. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get You're started pushing. with the video. All right, first thing I just wanted to show is that if we plug it in, that it connects, starts charging. Stage two is to test with the tester unit. This is basically a tester. So before the shock enters the system, it kind of allows you to discharge it here and you see some sparks, which is kind of cool. By the way, what happens if you stick a normal USB in there? Is it gonna read the song? Yeah, well, when you put it in your phone, it just plays a regular song, whatever you're trying to play, or I think, I think it's all audio through the phone. So. Oh, shit, sure. okay. All right, tester shield unit going in and let's see if we can get any spark out of it. Ooh. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Who changed uh, it? Who doesn't know how to operate a camera? Wreck. I'm scared. Are you ready, man? Yeah. Guy. I'm scared, but just Hold do it. back if he lunges at me. USB oh killer versus gosh. 2016 Nissan GTR. I'm gonna turn the music up just so we can hear. Click. All right, three, two, one. Ooh, I hear a click. Ooh, look at oh this. Oh my gosh, the screen. The it screen resets. just reset. Oh my Holy God. Crap. It's not playing music anymore. Okay. We're fine, but the clicking stopped over here. Let's oh, see if uh, the iPhone's still... It's not charging anymore. I think we fried your USB port, man. Wait, did you unplug it and plug it back in? That's kind of crazy. It started tweaking out over here. The whole like, screen the just restarted, yeah. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna try the test unit to see if we can get any sort of power out of it still. But I think I just fried your port or a, a fuse. We're gonna go ahead and check the fuses here. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's working. Again. It's still working. Why wouldn't the iPhone work? What do I do? Just, just click the button. No, okay. don't hold the brake, but just click the button right there in the middle. Oh, okay, okay. Because it will start the car if you hold the brake. Dude, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> shit myself. Okay, the car started. How much can a USB port possibly cost? What's no interesting idea. though is that this still gets power. I'm gonna plug it in one more time. So we're gonna check the fuse box, but the consensus seems to be that we just fried this port alone. So these guys actually thought of this kind of thing. Yeah. Most uh, electronics don't have a defense against it, so that's kind of cool. The more you know, you're a <laughs> Nissan GTR safe against these things. <laughs> it does affect the Nissan GTR, but nowhere near as bad as- Made it into everything Apple Pro's office. He's gonna be trying out the PS4 Slim, and then he has a bunch of other items that he's going to be using with the USB that we just did on the GTR. So we're gonna try out all these items and we'll see if they survive or not. Call it a USB killer, it sounds oh, yeah. badass. USB killer is the official name that he named it. Wait, did you even invent, did you like invent this or you found yes, this? I did, no, I bought it. The new oh. version actually just came out that's even stronger. Are you gonna buy it? Yeah, I already bought it, it just didn't arrive oh, in time. Maybe I might even make another one of these if you guys want to see one. I'm going to try it on the GTR again. I, wait, would you ever try it on your R8? I actually, that's the plan. Really? Yeah, I'm actually going to do it. Res, oh my, okay. It's so, just going to do the same thing probably to your car, just kill the USB port or yeah. the infotainment. We're going to get started right now, he'll get prepared and then I'll, we'll start filming. It's kind of confusing because he has to film a video first and I have to film one for mine, so if it sounds like he's the like main speaker for the video, then I'm sorry. Um, it's just like a video mainly for his channel, but I'm just feeling like yeah. behind the scenes type of stuff. I had to pay $450 for this, which sucks, but here it is. Hoo -hoo. That's a lot smaller than I thought. Uh, does this thing even have a USB port? And, ooh, it does have USB-C, perfect. Ooh, this is gonna be nice. But there it is, a lot more bezel than I'd like. We're gonna power it on and see how it looks. All right, that's the new switch. What else do we get? So since everything Apple Pro is an Apple channel, he has a huge collection 
of iPhones. Here are the boxes right here. He has starting from the iPhone 2G all the way up to, to the iPhone 7 somewhere in the back over there. He has like a couple, well not a couple, there's like, no yeah, there's two iPhone 6s, he has SEs and then a 5 and then a bunch of old ones. He actually has the very original iPhone 2G. Is, wait, is it the original? Uh, yeah. So this is actually the very first iPhone that was, was it? The first yes, one. it was the first iPhone ever released. So he has it right here, and here are all his phones out of the box. Well, not the, all. That's like yeah. a fourth. So he has like a bunch of Androids here. It's the phone with like no bezels. Yeah, yeah. And then he has so many iPhones over here, and then he has a couple stacks right here. Is that it? Oh, yeah. And then he has a. Holy crap. <laughs> Stop. Is Yo. that a taser from an iPhone? Yeah. What the. How much volts is that? I'm actually getting a new one for Wait, the iPhone 7 it. in a few days. Wait, how do it I, hurts. How do I turn it on? It's the little button, the blue one, glowing one. Literally the only button. <laughs> so he legit has a taser made iPhone. Since I make a lot of taser videos, here is one of them from just a straight iPhone. That's pretty cool. And then he has a uh, bunch of he has a bunch of broken iPhones right there as well. That is his little iPhone collection that he has. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little scene of me showing off his iPhones that he has. If you were curious, maybe you saw his videos already, but yeah. So here is all the products he will be using versus the USB killer. He has the new Nintendo Switch right there, and then he has the NES Classic. I never heard of that. I don't really play Nintendo, but there's the NES Classic, and then the PS4 Slim that I was talking about earlier. So so those are the three products he will be using versus is the USB killer. So this is a power meter for USB-C. First thing I wanted to do is see what kind of a current this thing is taking in. All right, so 1.11 amps, 14.7 volts. Got our USB-C adapter. And here we go. Two, one. Oh, I think that's it. I heard the pop. How do you turn this thing on? Okay, power button. Wow, that's it. That was fast. So the Nintendo Switch that just that came out today or yesterday is now officially dead with this USB killer. You can't turn it on anymore. It's just completely dead. There's I'm clicking the power button right now and it's just not working. So there it goes. Record, record. Calm down. Calm down. This guy has to go. So the PS4 Pro had a USB in the back. This just has two in the front. Not even gonna bother setting that up. Let's see how resistant it is. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. What? That is something I've never seen before. Usually when you plug it in, it's just out, done. That's kind of interesting. Guys, that's your daily dose or monthly dose of the USB killer. Did not survive the Nintendo Switch or the PS4 Slim, unfortunately. Nissan GTR survived and the NES Classic survived due to not even being compatible with this test. <laughs> so uh, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of the other USB killer tests, really crazy stuff, and David's channel is down below. The guy is crazy. I would have never let someone borrow my GTR to plug this in there. What am I, crazy? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.